Okay, this is like a quick little side note example, essentially, um, since delta G and all of the things in delta E and K are all related, um, another type of problem I could give you is if I had a cell, so a voltaic or a galvanic cell, and I wanted to find the delta G formation of something. Well, anytime we do delta G formation, we use this equation, right? Delta G not of the reaction equals the sum of the product minus reactants. Um, and if I wanna know the formation of one of them, First thing I would do is if I took the E cell, well, I could do this equation by delta G for the reaction, plug that in here, and then I can solve for a missing formation. So that's what example number 10 is. This is kind of like an integrated example. So I recommend trying it really quick. So pause here. And then I'm going to go over this one. So it says, what is the delta G not of formation for, uh, what is that, sulfurous acid? using the appendix E electrode potentials for this equation. So actually you don't even have to do that because I gave you the E naught. So this equation here, I gave you that the E naught of this cell is positive 0 0.20 volts, okay? So I know this E naught, which means if I have the E naught for a reaction, I can calculate delta G naught for the reaction, negative NFE, simple plug-in. Now I did use two electrons because well, I wrote in the equation, I've got two electrons being transferred. So this is the delta G naught for this reaction, okay? Very spontaneous. Makes sense, negative delta G, because it is a positive E naught. All right, so I've got negative delta G, that is in joules because Faraday's is in joules. And so I can plug that in for the delta G naught of the reaction and solve for this missing delta G formation that I don't have. Okay, so I have that equals, and then I am going to do products. So the missing one, plus the water one, minus the reactants. So this one, this, this one. Make sure you take your coefficients into account. This one does have all ones except for hydrogen. So I have the four here, but it's times zero. And then solve for X, I get a 1,665 kilojoules per mole. That would be the delta G naught of sulfurous acid. Okay, so just another type of uh, problem using everything that we've learned.